too. So we got a lot of action going on. Can't believe it's Thursday night. Can't believe the season is finally coming to an end. And we are so appreciative of all the views that you've given us and all of the attention that you've given us, particularly for these young men, these players, these coaches, uh, their families. And uh, I know they're excited. This is an exciting time for them as they get ready for this championship. So we'll give it a couple minutes here and we'll fill it up uh, with you and talk with you a little bit as Coach Stewart uh, is finishing up some talks with uh, his players, his coaches. I know he's probably going to run over here. He's been running the whole time. He'll probably jog over here. Come on, Coach. We're going to put you on. <laughs> He'll get over here and talk with us a little bit and tell us a little bit about how this season has been special for him and this Trojan football team. And he, he doesn't leave until everything is put away. Uh, and I know he's the last one probably leaving this field tonight. But, uh, Coach, you've been so gracious to have us out. We appreciate it. No okay. No so we got we, we had a nice little talk earlier about how to keep these domes together, right? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so I appreciate you, my man, for giving me some tips All on the keeping shaving the shaving tips you yeah, can get. I need I need as many shaving tips as I can get. I'm gonna go right home and put them to practice. But here with, with John Stewart, the head coach of the Silver Valley Trojans, you guys have had a heck of a year and I'm looking back on the three years that you've been here, Coach. Six. Six years. My six, my my six, my, six. my bet. Six years. And um, over the years, I know it's probably been a reclamation project to get them going and get the team going and get this program going well, to where you want to go. Talk to talk to me and talk to our audience about what it's taken to get you here. It, it's tough here because mm -hmm. every year is a brand new year. We're mili mostly military, yeah. and we went to the playoffs last year, yeah. and only I think it's five or six guys returned from that team last year. Okay. Uh, usually we might get a kid for six months or two years if we're lucky. So that really depends on, on assignments, deployments, yeah. things of that and nature. Most, Interesting. Most people don't want to be in the middle of the Mojave, so they're already putting in for transfers before they even get here. So our kids are leaving as quick as they get here. Um, a lot of times it's just the next kid up, what we can do. We don't even know what we're going to be able to do from year in, year out, depending on our talent. Yes. Yeah, and I, I, you know what? It's funny you mentioned that because I've been with programs before that had the same challenges. You don't know how long they're going to be here, and you'll love this. We spent some time in Okinawa, Japan over mm -hmm. this past summer. Uh, it's the same kind of thing. You've got yeah. American high schools, uh, kids playing on U.S. bases out there, but they don't know how long they're going to be there either. Yeah. And so it's kind of the same challenge, yeah, isn't our it? Kids, our kids have come from Germany, from Korea, Japan. They've been everywhere. Okay. Uh, most of our kids will see three or four high schools before they're done with their high school year career it is amazing and here you are now getting ready to play in a championship ball game come this saturday night talk to me and talk to our audience about what this what's special about this football team as you sit now getting ready to play for a championship well we were lucky enough to get about 20 to 30 of these kids during the summer all summer long they were able to work together gel together um, we've also had some talent come in that we didn't expect which and they gelled together they the uh our leaders have stepped up, and it's just been a great group of kids to coach. Okay. And I see you very much hands-on with this football program, and I see how much work it takes and how much effort it takes. It certainly has panned out for you. I know coming into the game Friday night, what's your what's your preparation in terms of you got to travel down to Orange. I live in Orange, <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I think about coming out here, I think about the song or the lyrics of the song called A Dark Desert Highway. Yep. Cool wind, and oh, I can't say Eagles. cool. Can't, right. Yeah. Can't say cool wind in our yeah, hair. Exactly. We can't really say that, exactly. but that's what I think about out in, in the desert. What What's that bus ride going to be like? What's that well, going to be like for those kids, kids coming down? Kids, our kids are usually used to it. They ride an hour long to get to school during the day and an hour to get back home at night. They also, um, we've played in Bishop. We've played in almost Tijuana. So we've traveled. We had we had two road games before we had a home game that were gave us over a thousand miles combined mileage. So our kids are used to the traveling. Okay. So they'll, they'll be ready yeah, to go. They'll, they'll be, be locked fine. in. We usually get there early enough, let them rest, and then they're good to go. Okay. So they've got a routine. Yeah, they've yeah. got this down. Yeah. Well, no doubt you, you've prepared them well. You're here. You're going to play Saturday night. We will be here with you. We're excited to have the coverage. We're excited that you could be with us tonight. Now you want to get home, I know, and get, get, get ready for this weekend. <laughs> Appreciate the time, Coach, very much so. And we'll wrap up here now here with John Stewart, the head coach of the Silver Valley Trojans, about to take on the Orange High Panthers. It'll be a great football game. We'll bring you great coverage. Coach, you'll love this that in, in our audience 
reaches across the sea. So we reach Germany, nice, nice. we reach Asia and whatnot. So it's, it's a lot of fun. It's great to have you on HSPN and wish you the best of luck this Saturday night. Thank you very much. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate it. Okay, David Hill, once again on the campus here at Silver Valley High School, wrapping up practice on a Thursday night. It's been a fast week. I'm sure for Coach it's been a fast week, and um, I know they're looking forward to Saturday night. David Hill, once again, here in the desert with the Silver Valley High School Trojans.